Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton, administrator of the Clark County Museum System, and you are on the grounds of the Clark County Museum. Now, when you come to the museum, you'll see a number of structures, you'll see the nature areas, the walking trails, all of that. But we also have a few vehicles on the grounds, and some of them have an interesting story. In 1917, this Holt Caterpillar trailer, it's Model 75, was used in the Sandy Valley area of Clark County. It was used to haul ore from one of the mines there down to one of the railheads. And it was very important because it could handle the sandy soil and could continue working when oxen or horses or mules found it very difficult in the heat. The reason it could was because of the unique design of this particular type of tractor. The thing that was most interesting about it was the fact that it used tracks rather than wheels. They developed this to be able to use these on the, the really soft soil in the San Joaquin area, and it became very successful. These vehicles actually were used throughout World War I on both sides in order to haul artillery pieces and supplies to the front. These could hold up going across the soft, blown up soil in France, in Germany, in Austro-Hungary. They could keep going. The value of a mine is how expensive is it to get the ore from the mine to where it's going to be uh, handled, where it's going to be shipped off to um, a plant to, to be ground up and get the, the gold or silver or platinum or whatever you're trying to take out of it. Um, that kind of processing has to be done somewhere other than the mine site. So you have to bring this ore, which is basically rock, tons and tons and tons of rock that has to be hauled from the mine site to wherever the mill is. The introduction of whole tracked vehicles made it much easier. Now there is one sort of fun piece about this that I do want to point out. If you look up here at the top of the radiator, you will see it says Caterpillar. Now Caterpillar is a very well-known name. It's still out there, still one of the top 300 companies in the world at this point in terms of size, but they don't use that symbol anymore. That one is actually the original way the Caterpillar was done, and it's supposed to look like a Caterpillar. The idea behind the name was this could go anywhere just like a Caterpillar could. So we always like to point that out. Now, as you look at this, you notice it does have a roof on it. That is original to it. They did have roofs on some of them. You could get them without the roofs, but if you're in Sandy Valley, you want some shade out there. They ran, in this case, on a four-cylinder engine, and you can see the size of these cylinders. These are not the cylinders that you have in your car. These are huge cylinders and would build up to about 75 horsepower in order to run this. The other thing to look at is the wonderful driver's seat here. The entire uh, driving of this, the entire way of turning this is that wheel which came all the way down to the front here and you can see that there's a, a gear here that's a round gear that's going through this gear and that's how you turn it. You have to crank that wheel around to turn this gear around to turn this wheel. Talking about the uh, Caterpillar there, it is one of the vehicles that you can see out here at the museum. You notice they are sitting outside. The nice thing about being in the desert is they hold up quite well outside, so we're able to show them here. And when you come out to the museum, you can see these. Remember, we're only open seven days a week. It is hard to find us open. And yes, we are $2, unless you're like me and over 55 or under 18, then it's only a dollar. So I hope that you'll come out and visit us and I hope to see you here.